in this digital age, nothing says caring like a handwritten holiday card. But did you know that there's proper etiquette for a holiday card? Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yes, I didn't there is. know that. And I know you're spot on about that because the texting, all that stuff I do, I realize my. I have to write really slow now when I'm writing to make it l legible, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's, but it, why, why is it so important? Why, why is well, it? it's important because you're actually sitting down, you're taking the time to write to someone your personal thoughts and caring message to them, and you're sitting down, you're taking pen to hand, and it comes from your heart. And when you open up that card for the first time mm -hmm. and you see a handwritten message, this is to you, you wrote me a card? From me. Really? And Do I get to have it now? You get to have it now, but you have to read it now. Okay. Uh, but everything that I feel in my heart for you will come through that page. And, and, and so hopefully when you read it, you'll feel it. And I think right. that's what handwritten notes do. Wonderful. I see there's a, quite a few options up here. I'm going to keep the envelope. Oh, because well, it's, it's got my name card. on it. It's yes. got my name on it. Yes. No, but there's um, I, it's, it's a lot of, there of are a lot of cards to choose from, and Hallmark yeah. gives you a lot of choices right here, and they're just, they're all wonderful. Uh, hard and fast rules when it comes to family and friends when you're, when you're signing cards and going through this process. Well, you should always personalize your cards. Even if you receive a card and it has your name already printed on it, it says, right. my peace, joy, merry Christmas, it has your name printed, you should always include a personal message to that person and have your signature, and it should be really informal. Like if right. I sent one to you that had my name on it, Christina Ferrari, I would just write you a little, t a little note, no. but I wouldn't sign it, Christina Ferrari. I'd right. sign it Christina because we're, you know, we're friends. Right. Yeah. Wait. Who said we're friends? Well, okay, well, today we're <laughs> friends, maybe tomorrow not, but What okay. about, so family friends, I get this, because, you know, filling this out, there are times that I have a relationship with, say, a business, a brick and mortar sort of business, or business relationships. How, what is, is there a protocol for that? Yeah, well, what you do is you sign only your name to a card for a business associate, unless the person is married. Like, if you're going to write to me, you would okay. address it to Mr. and Mrs. Thomopoulos, because okay. I'm married, and you've met my husband. Yes. You know Tony. You guys are good buddies. Right. All right, so, but if you didn't meet Tony, you would just write to me, uh, Christina Ferrari, because you didn't meet uh, Tony, and it's not necessary right. for you to include him. All right, so is there an etiquette, or are there so is there something we should keep in mind when it comes to, say, somebody has... A, a tra traditional background different than ours or a um, I don't know uh, an ethnic ethnic background that's right. different than ours how do we sure that? well again uh, Hallmark provides a lot of cards for this and you should choose secular designs or one that says uh, or and a sent sentiment doesn't necessarily have to say Merry Christmas you could say happy holidays season greetings and it's proper to send out your your card starting the day after Thanksgiving all the way up until uh, New Year's Eve mm -hmm. so just make sure that if someone has a different belief than you do that you keep that in your in mind and again hallmark provides those as well so personalize yeah, it personalize, uh, right. make sure it's to the right uh, person when you're doing it exactly. you no know, mr or mrs right any other last advice before i go out and yeah. forget all of this well, no i won't the no. thing is is that you should mail you should start your cards early and we started ours in, in october because our here at home and family you and i did because there are 75 people that we want to T tell how much they mean to us. So we started in October. You don't have to start that early, but you go ahead and do it now and mail it early. St put it in the mail now, and also know that if you send it first class, that way if the if it should get lost and you have the return address on it, you can make sure that it will go back to the sender and you'll have a chance to resend it. If you do not send it first class, then they're just going they're going to toss it. Well, you are first class. Oh, through and well, through. thank you. And okay. I love what you wrote. I think it's very, very special. I brought a tear to my, except you spelt my name wrong I up did here. Not. Yeah, I did not. My name's okay, not ben. there's a message from okay. Axel here. Okay, so you can go to our Home and Family website for this information. And Hallmark Holiday Cards are avail available in co gold crown stores all over. And you can go to hallmark.com to personalize your variant cards. But don't forget to put your name on it with a little special note. Put the correct yeah. name on it. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Up next, Shelly Bob shows here.